If it comes with a walk in the park, is it still a prison? What's the point? The point of juvenile detention centers like this chateau in Frépont, Belgium, is to give the inmates a sense and structure in their lives. They've all been involved in activity considered either antisocial or criminal, but they're minors. On a judge's order, the young offenders will spend five days a week here and go home for weekends over a certain time. Kevin seems to be finding his balance after three months in Frépont. Things are informal here, no guards in uniform, no regimental repression. A lot of the attention is one-to-one. -one. Kevin's keeping an appointment with his social worker. I wanted to see how your placement is going with you. You'll be out in another three months. What do you plan to do? Either I go back to school or I'll find work. What's that going to depend on? At school, I'd have to finish the years I missed to get the grades. But if I start work now, I won't get my diploma. I used to be violent and rude, but everyone here, more or less, has helped me to get myself together. I've managed to prove I can do things right and talk properly and not always be the violent one. Violence won't get you anywhere. It can take a long time to come to this conclusion. Personal trust has to be built up. Florent is here for breaking and entering. He's doing math now. Courses are individual or in pairs. Most of the inmates started skipping school long ago. After my last year in primary, I went into a boarding school. I asked my parents to let me go. I made it till the end of the first year. That's when I started getting kicked out, everywhere. I got fed up last year, then I just quit completely. These courses are just to give pupils back self-confidence. When a person isn't very good at reading, doesn't write very well, can barely do his sums, of course, pretty quickly they're going to disconnect from the world. They don't even have their primary school certificates. Sometimes they can only just stumble along through a text. They feel strongly discouraged and can get a bit angry because they feel they can't keep up with society. How should society react to juvenile delinquency? Statistics show offenders starting younger and getting more violent. Belgium has made a lot of progress in its approach, could even be a model for other countries. Frépont offers a range of vocational training. Each state in Europe has its own methods, but attempts at coordination are rare. This Greek Euro deputy is behind an initiative to start a European delinquency observatory. I think we should first of all wake up to this at a European level. Juvenile delinquency has taken on big proportions and is affecting a growing number of young people. The EU should be in the forefront in this matter. Uh, what's missing is an exchange of information between the member states and a capacity to take the best possible action. Frépont has an open section and a closed section. This second part has surveillance like a high-security prison, but again, rigid practices have been left in the past. It's fairly relaxed. The boys, between 14 and 17 years old, are in for mugging or burglary, but also for gang rape. If they were older, these offences could have got them three to five years in prison. They are kept under close control here. Belgium doesn't scrimp on means. For 10 inmates, there are 20 social assistants. Painting or sport can help build up stability. There's also a two-hour thinking time every day in a locked cell. I've been working in this closed environment for 15 years, and the most common cases then were drug addiction. Cases of rape or incest were unheard of. These types of delinquency are relatively new for us. They bring other problems, such as having enough space for them all. For the most part, the young people are still the same. They can all be worked on, in the short, medium or long term, depending on their personality. But I think results are possible for each of them.
some countries are putting the stress on prevention. Look at 11-year-old Samuel, springing with energy. We're in Logroño, in the north of Spain. Samuel's neighborhood is full of immigrants. Every day after school and at the weekend, Samuel goes to the local play center. The Spanish today are trying to create support structures that build a link between the school, the family, and the street. Tutors like Jorge are role models for these children. Their families often can't cope with bringing them up. We try to observe the kids' attitudes, how they behave, and if it looks like they might get violent. As soon as we detect a problem like that, we talk to the school and social services so that the three of us can develop a common strategy. Conchi Bravo is a bit like everyone's mother. She started this project. She's a Spanish teacher and knows the dangers of school dropping out well. Our objective is to avoid conflicts, problems. I believe these children are entirely normal. The children who are working and who are occupied are simply learning. Providing these children with an outlet for their potential requires resources. Can the EU help? This Eurodeputy from the Logroño region suggests it can. At the European Parliament, we want to be able to propose measures such as parascholastic activity leaders who help to guide the young people so that this energy is converted into creativity and not into a destructive force. Samuel seems to have taken this on board. He's not interested in breaking into cars or hurting people. But there's always work to be done convincing others in his neighborhood. Not everyone has got the message. When we're on our way here to play, other kids will block us just to pick a fight. Are they bigger than you? No. No, they're smaller. We could easily beat them up, but we don't. Why not? Just don't want to. Violence goes nowhere. Would the Spanish method have kept these kids out of Frépon? The experts are not taking it for granted that what works in one country will work in another. But the Euro deputies insist Europe as a whole needs to help give young people a level playing field so they'll stay out of trouble. Oh.